Hi. How's everybody doing? I haven't tested my audio levels or anything yet, so uh, hopefully this doesn't sound terrible. Um, hi. Uh, so, I don't know about you all, but uh, I've been stuck at home, <laughs> as I'm sure most of you all have as well. Um, and I was thinking, hey, uh, what's something fun that we could all do as a, as a group, as a whole, as a team? And, uh, yeah, I figured why not, uh, watch something that I made a long time ago that a bunch of folks, which is pretty cool. I think I might have a bad cable here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I figured we could weather the viral storm together. Sorry, I've got some smudges on my glasses like you would not believe. Uh, I finished my dinner. I had some spaghetti right before this, but I ran out of time. So, got a little extra snack roonies but I'm going to not uh, eat them into the microphone too closely. Because I know some people really hate that. So, without further ado, uh, you guys want to start Marble Hornets Season 1? Alright. Well, let's go. Let me know if you can hear my crunching. Much like any student film. This is in Pelham, Alabama. It's where Troy and Joseph live, but I only went there like <clears throat> twice, three times. Uh oh. Huh. My video that I'm playing from my own computer just decided to freeze. Ah, oh, there we go. I tried crunching away from the microphone and I just saw my levels spike like crazy even though I had my mouth closed. adjust my levels a little bit. Oh my goodness, Joseph's here. Hello, Joseph. I was trying to uh, give them some backstory on this location, but then I realized you're the one that lived here and not me. Three years with no contact, even though, though you're good friends. Yeah, I've been there. Whom among us? I'm sure plenty of people have said this before, but... It's a good thing you did actually find something, because otherwise that introduction video would have been kind of a waste of time, I guess. There he is. I swear I've seen like three different movies imitate that exact shot. 
couldn't tell you which ones, but I've seen it. Oh yeah, Paranormal Activity 4. There's like a kid standing in a driveway or something and his head whips around. I got home late tonight and I was taking Rocky for his Listen walk to those about dulcet uh, tones. 20 minutes ago, mm. so around midnight. This was near the set of Marble Hornets. Uh, a little bit farther down the road, we saw this really tall guy standing in the middle of the street, just completely still. For whatever reason, this really set off Rocky, and uh, he, just, he got really scared. He wouldn't move, and he kept on pulling on his leash to go back home. There was something about this guy that was just, it was strange. So uh, we headed back home. I have a little bit of time left on this table. Once again, if your dog is upset, you listen. He's still hanging around. In fact, I think this is the light that he was standing under. So I'm going to have a look here. Have fun with your taco bake, Joseph. Okay, you can't really see it well on the camera, but I don't see anyone around here, so I guess he's moved on. Uh, Oh yeah, I think I can turn uh, yeah, subtitles on. That should work. That. Do you guys want subtitles or not? For the videos, not for me, obviously. All right, subtitles it is. Hopefully they won't crash everything. Me going through my report cards before my parents can see them. Am I right, folks? I'm extremely nearsighted. Person who asked me in the chat, another person who asked me in the chat. I'm playing this off of the. Um, I'm not playing an actual DVD, but I'm using the like the DVD file that I still have, so it's got all the subtitles and everything on it already. have the same USA map on your wall. Does it help you remember where everything is? Folks, just to give you an idea of perspective of how long ago 2009 was, uh, I believe that was a flip phone that was just ringing, or the one that that slid in half may have even had a keyboard, which was <coughs> was top of the line messing around. No, uh. Yeah, I got a janky cable, what of it. It's too late to change now. I have to I'll have to figure it out tomorrow night. Um yeah, so I was 20 when we first started doing these. Um ended when I when I was 25. I'm 31 now, 31 now. So that's that's great. That's how long ago that that was. Yep. 
<clears throat> uh, we did not use tapes. This the camera that we had uh, did not use tapes. If it had used tapes, right, um, okay. it would have been uh, in standard this is def. where I want Brian to come back and reflect. Later in the movie, this would probably be about three fourths of the way through. This will just be by himself, right? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking about maybe putting it. In Well, I selected the uh, subtitle well, track, but they're not displaying. I'm not sure why that is. To Sarah, they should. Try a winner back. But they're not. Um, and we got a good Sorry. number of shots here. We have the stream down there. Um, and <laughs> These are just these are just regular old Ray Ban glasses. These are the classics. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like this area. It's very, I don't know, secluded, I guess. Yeah. So something important to note, and right. I didn't know this until right. later, but um, Troy room. was mostly uh, deaf in one ear, over there is where we're going to do the bond and he did finally get surgery to get it fixed. Yeah. Uh, I, also want I want to say 2012, 2013, day, like halfway Sarah, through this. Sarah. So, uh, I, I told him when he was going to get surgery, I was like, the uh, first thing I'm going to make you do is sit down and watch yeah. this entry in particular and see what you've done. Uh, I really like this place since we have the tree line that basically blocks off our entire shooting area. And we also have these uh, really tall trees right in the middle, which personally I just think are really cool. What's that? Those hats Balls were in back then. There. Yeah, that's like an old climbing wall. Or I can't remember if it was a climbing wall or if the fire department. <laughs> Although I wish that that tall grass were all level or we had more of it to just kind of abruptly stop over there. Yeah. I'm sure we can work our way around it. Those hats are still in, really? I saw a tweet the other day that said something like, every webcomic artist from 2007 wore these hats, uh, which was very funny to me because at one point Troy used to draw um, webcomics in high school, I believe. I'm still on Death Stranding listed on Twitch. Even better. Maybe we'll maybe we'll attract um some new viewers. That would have been pretty cool if we could have gotten Norman Reedus. I don't think many people knew who he was then. Was Walking Dead already going by then? Well, I guess there was the whole I guess there was Boondock Saints. All the college guys knew who he was. I forgot how quickly these go by. These early entries. They're shorter than I remember. Yes. Let's start again. Let's start again. Yes. Terrific. So you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm rolling. And uh, just a second, let me. Send all your love and your send all your love and support to Brian in this time. He is a nurse in Birmingham, Alabama, um, and he is. Fighting the good fight right now. Yeah, don't don't say anything. 
because the camera picks it up. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna feed me Tim's lines? Uh, yeah, just a second. Okay. Alright. Action. I don't know. This town just doesn't feel the same to me anymore. I missed it so much when I was in college. But now that I'm back, I just feel like a depressed teenager all over again. Stuck in a loop of unhappiness. Maybe mm. you've grown up? I don't know. Maybe this town I'll has say grown that. up. Brian is a nurse. Maybe it has. And Joseph is a grocery store department. Alright, good. Uh, well, I don't want to say working at a grocery store, so they're both at the front on the front lines right now. Are we going to do it again? Are we? No. So if you're wondering why they're That's not on the stream, it's because they've we're both done. been declared essential. Okay. Whereas me, on the other hand... Nah. As if I'm going to see what the last hour's worth of this chat looked like and then just tell you guys where I work. No. distant ever since he came back, you know? There we go. And? I mean, have you talked to him at all? No. Well, uh, did he come back because of you? Because he never told me why he was here. Doesn't really matter, does it? He left me when he went off to the city, and that's that. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's, what's, what's the plan now for you? What's next? I'm not really going to do anything. If only I kept that haircut for the We're whole thing. We're gonna do it again. The pacing still feels weird. It's it doesn't sound like a conversation. You guys still sound like you're reading off of the script. Let's just just have a conversation. Let's do it again. Still, still, he takes. Still. Uh, yeah. I shook my brand up a little bit. I remember it was almost always menthols though. I think those were Paul Mall menthols in my pocket, which. Yeah. Nice. Even by the standards of other cigarettes, I wouldn't recommend. Like I didn't have anything to do later today, yeah, you know? Yeah. To Why would you have guys. anything to do anyway? You knew you were coming on set. You knew this could take a while. <clears throat> yeah, it was supposed to be an afternoon shoot, though. You guys would do it right. First time, afternoon I shoot. I even buy the the posture is because right below frame, there is a Action. bench right behind my knees, but I still have to lean really nonchalantly, yeah, so... From the beginning... Rolling. There, now what? you can see. Rolling. I got my feet on it. Did you or one of my feet on it. recording during the break? I told you to keep the camera recording at all times. Oh. How long was it off? I forgot for a second. You forgot. I, I gave you one job. All you were supposed to do was come in here, set up the camera, make sure it doesn't fall over, and press record once. You don't stop it at all. I made this extremely clear. If it's, hey, if it's gonna be yeah, I also don't think I figured out how to wear belts until like 2015, so whoops. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to deal with that every once in a while today. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It might be because I'm running this off of an external drive instead of my uh, computer. Because the external drive has a little light on the outside and it's blinking at me. You're saving time on the tapes. There we go. Saving... You helped me load up the car. You know how many tapes we have. If we run out of time on this tape, we'll get another. It's not a problem. I do not still smoke. I, mean, I was vaping for a long time. Before you listen. But then, uh, oh, guess where all the parts dog. are made? How many, guys, how many sets is that? Yeah. Uh, not getting many of those parts from China right now, so. Because I've so had the script in every scene. Exactly. Yeah, you know, act. How about that? 
Oh yeah, yeah, Ooh. that's 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 real nice, you know, considering how much you're paying us and everything. Why would I pay you for what you're giving me? I mean, Ooh. really. Oh, that's yeah, that's real nice. Who else is gonna work with you with this attitude? Look. Yeah, you already spent so much money on tapes. You can't afford actors anyway. Ooh. Let's just get it done with. All right. Let's just get it done. I'm sorry. Just don't stop recording. It's not a problem. Playing tapes. That actress okay, is. Sorry. Uh, Mary Kathleen, a friend of ours, a uh, a friend of Troy and Joseph's originally at the time. I think another classmate. Um. But now she actually lives pretty close to me. Uh. We, we hung out whenever Joseph went to visit, and then, you know, one of those things, whenever you're as old as me, you keep being like, yeah, we're going to hang out, and then you just kind of don't get around with it. Around to it, rather. like I'm there. Did we ever get scared, actually scared when recording? No. Well, there were some of the nighttime shoots just because we were in places that we maybe weren't supposed to be. So... I was nervous for that reason sometimes. That's about it. Mm. This one I couldn't tell you where this one is. But that's the gr that's th that's what's great about it, right folks? It could be anywhere. Do we still have the undistorted video files? Yeah, somewhere probably. I don't, anyway. I have all the finished stuff. That's all I need. Yeah, we did get try to get permission one time, and then, like, we straight up went to the police station and asked. And the guy was like, yeah, I honestly wouldn't know who to tell you to ask. But uh, have you ever heard the phrase, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission? So we said, okay, and we went anyway. Uh, it's an interesting place to live. A lot of, um, you know. I don't know if the cops would have told us that, but that cop in particular did, so who might argue? <laughs> the auto mod blocked a cab. Uh, let me see. Uh, I missed the window to click allow. Well, if someone does it again, I'll allow it. There we go. <laughs> uh. Twitch thinks they can stop us. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, these were... See, so I, I was really only here for um, the entries that I was in for the most part in season one. I think I've ever 
heard that before. Yeah, and Troy was basically, uh, he worked at the front desk at one of the dorms. Uh, and the two of the arc videos uh, started off as something that he was working on while he was sitting there by himself. Uh, as long as we have the camera shot, just get set to control it, and we'll be out of here in our time. Are we doing live? Not in this part. We're okay. just uh, walking to the river. And I think this was the one start. they said they had to pause briefly because uh, there was a couple pause. having sex in a car just out of frame right. to the left. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. No, not really. Hey, buddy. What's he You know, I I read something interesting um, a few days ago. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 save it for you guys um, later. Um, I found a I was looking for the the text uh, the technical the specs of the okay. the camera uh, that we uh, used for this, I and I found like an old review seat. of it from 2007. Okay, the trunk. All right. And I'm going to keep on going, but uh, I found a review of it from 2007, and everything that it describes as a weakness is something that makes Marvel Hornets look the way it does. There's like something about the, uh, it makes the colors look kind of washed out, which is, it is why Marvel Hornets has this particular color palette that it does. And we're just going to do this again. Okay. Yeah, I think... So, lesson learned for the streams for the rest of the week. I'll actually copy these uh, files to my computer and not just run them off an external drive next time. Uh, but hey, you got somewhere else you got to be? Didn't think so. So this location isn't even there anymore. This is right off of campus, off the university campus. It's like right around the corner from the dorms we were living in, or I was living in. Um, it's some kind of museum now. I want to say a pool, pool museum, but that doesn't seem right. Some kind of museum. R.I.P. Joseph's Mustang. Beautiful ride taken from us too soon. Now we both had Mustangs back then. Both of us taken from us far too soon. The meme with me and the pink skates is a comedy sketch that we made in 2012 called Troy Moves Out on the channel Troy Has a Camera. Check it out. It's very good. I think I was the only one that got in a car accident. I think um, Joseph's just game out on him over time.
Yeah, see, so I, I, I wasn't here for this, so I couldn't even tell you how they did it if I wanted to. I do like the 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 movements are are uncanny in exactly the right way. It's hard to do. Yeah, just to give you an idea of how old the $20 joke is. It was a joke based on entry number six. So it is literally almost as old as Marble Hornets itself is. As an 11-year-old joke, almost. Ten and a half. that off his face or he's going to get pink eye like I did about a year before that was filmed. I won't go into that. <clears throat> well, these are the dorms from season, or the apartments from season two, so I guess they'd already moved by then. What's with the S? You mean like the little, like the little S? Like the jagged S that everyone drew on their notebooks, that one. We should have put that in. That should have been the operator symbol. Instead of circle, the circle with the X through right. it, it should have been the uh, S. Jay, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, you ready to do your screen test for this? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's been quite a while, so you kind of give me up to speed. But yeah, that's fine. I can, I can do that. It's the last pair of Chuck Taylors I ever owned. So here's the, uh, the script for the screen they test. They suck. Okay. And I'll just be taking some notes. All right. So the script for the screen Got test right for, is yeah, my like script for uh, this scene in particular. Before we do the screen test, uh, I want to ask you a few things about the production before before now. You know, just like locations or something? Because uh, I think I remember there was a couple around here. but More more specifically, the director, Alex. Uh, uh, Alex Crayley, if you remember. Um, I don't really remember much. I mean, he was a friend of Brian's, so I didn't really talk to him that much. I mean, he just kind of asked me to be part of the cast for the sake of convenience. Right. Okay. Uh, did you, like, you live near him? Um, yeah. yeah I mean, well, like, I, 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 I live next to... Relatively speaking, I mean, he kind of lives in the middle, the middle of nowhere, right? Well, I mean, I... I live next to Brian, so, I mean, I so for something like this, a scene like this, you know, we wanted to have an interview, but it's, we've only got one camera, so you can't just do, like, an interview camera setup, like one, like, cutting back and forth between people, so it's like, do you only show one person, and then we say, well, you know, once again, you figure out a reason for the camera to actually be in the scene, uh, and so... This is this is how uh, this is how we landed. Now my role in this series was still not quite set in stone. It was definitely not as fleshed out as it ended up being. Uh, but a big reason that it was was that um, I am a naturally fidgety person, as you can probably tell just from watching me down in the corner here. Um, but even more so then than I am now. And uh, I was, one of the things that happened was we went online to, you know, look at re re fan reactions like we would sometimes. And uh, everyone was convinced that I was up to something because I wouldn't quit fidgeting with that piece of paper. When really that's just I, I do that with paper all the time, every day. Every time it's in front of me. What, what might have caused Alex to move away? No. Um, I know Brian did say something about, like, I think somebody was leaving dead animals in, like, his uh, like his front yard or something. But like, I, like, like, like pets or what do you really know? What do you mean pets? Like, like, like cats or dogs or anything? I don't think so. Because, I mean, like, he, he 
we kind of live in a, a pretty big area. This is the most we did with the uh, dead animals part of the storyline because um, where are we going to find dead animals to use? We can't show that. So, you know, that is the most, uh, when it comes to season one, it may not have been as, I, I, you know, it may not have been as, as, as planned out as the later seasons, but there's a certain spontaneity that you don't get in the later ones. There's a certain kind of gleefully flying by the, by the seat of the pants kind of feeling that you get that is a little more restrained the further this, this the series goes on. Oh my God, quit messing with the paper. Leave it alone. Ah, being around me must be exhausting. No, I mean, it just, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, well, it just, I was just wondering, since, you know, I have, I have the raw footage of the, the tapes. And, but, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, sorry, I slid really the sorry, volume down so I, I could say something and then I forgot to slide it back up. My bad. Yeah, Oops. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Camera set up. Ooh, aren't you glad I turned it back up? Me too. How many viewers we got going on right now? All I've got is the little uh, pop-out chat window. I don't have any numbers in front of me. Eight thirty-six. Holy guacamole! Well, thanks for coming, everyone. A lot of folks. Ah. Is. Oh, we know this is the first time that we go to this apartment at night. The first of many. Troy and Joseph and Brian were all roommates in this place, I think. And then I moved to the same complex, but not the same apartment a couple of years later. My, my place is a little small. This is one of those like townhomes or whatever. And I mean, three people versus two, so. Don't want to need a townhome. these literally were like right next to each other so people ask if people saw us uh you know while we were filming i mean this Hello? this could have possibly raised an alarm bell or two Alex. and they were roommates um Brian. So one convenient thing, one convenient aspect about this lighting setup, the camera flashlight combo is that you've got a very, and we paused again, again, I apologize everyone, this won't happen tomorrow, uh, but you can have a very specific area that you want to show with a flashlight beam, uh, and it's very, it's not very big, but it's very focused, so you can sort of hide the fact that the 
trashed apartment is really just kind of like a bunch of torn up coupons on the ground. It works, doesn't it? You wouldn't have known it if I hadn't said anything. Probably. Oh no. Bone mention number one. Yeah, there's a few different locations in the series where, that, where we see the word bone spray painted on the walls, and people thought that we did that, but we didn't do it. Because our original theory was that maybe, like, that was the name of the color of the paint that they used in there, maybe? But then one of the other places we saw the word bone was, like, spray painted above the door of the abandoned hospital location that we used. So it's like, no one would have put that there. Unless the same dang trespassers that spray painted it at that place also lived in this apartment before they did. That'd be a hell of a coincidence, wouldn't it? Before the Marble Hornets, there were the Bone Masters, both sharing the same domicile. Did I say that right? The same place. They lived in the same place. Cough's not bad, but it needs some work. Just smoke for a couple of years before you fake cough like I did, and it'll sound very natural. You all can make as many coronavirus jokes as you want to, but I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. There was a running gag on the Something Awful forums years and years ago. Maybe like a couple of years before this was filmed. Where the way to identify someone else from the forums was to ask them, do you have stairs in your house? So fortunately, he is protected. gonna mess with his tools? It was a toolbox, wasn't it? It was dark. I should turn the brightness up on this bad boy. Oh. I've already got it up. Never mind. Yeah. Folks, an important if you are going to make coronavirus references, I will say this. If this happens to you, and you happen to find the sink full of blood, don't do that. So there's... You could kind of see it just then, but whenever Troy picks something up in this series... You'll see him pick it up, and he'll hold it in front of the camera, and he'll kind of do this with it, and then take it off the camera. Almost every time. So even whenever, even if there is a scene uh, where it's meant to be someone else, um, you know, because if there was someone under, like, say, like in the hoodie costume, for example... Several of us kind of took turns depending on who was available, because, I mean can't see his face it doesn't really matter uh 
But you could tell whenever was Troy was in there because if he picked something up, he'd still do the same little hand thing. To the point where we, we once we noticed it, he would make a conscious effort to not do it. So there's like a there's like a after a certain point, he after uh, ah. Sorry, folks. I think I got a bum mic cable. Anybody slow that down? What did that say? So my microphone cable isn't making like a bad noise whenever that happens, is it? Jay, if you want to stand where Brian's going to be and read his lines for me. Yeah, I got the script here. I'm out of the frame. Yeah, you're good. You know where we're starting, Tim? So this one was, it's a very short entry, yes. right. and it took and, us probably uh, all day to shoot, because uh, we just kind of, we just kind of kept doing it so over and over back. again in different I ways until we found a way that we liked, Sarah? so we just try different things, see what, what worked, see what didn't. Get her out of my head. I thought you said you were over her. I thought so too. No, that's fine. Okay. I was not wearing pants for part of this, but I don't think it was for the whole thing. That was just me. Okay. I do all the script for this. Uh, do you know where Brian is? Uh, I think he said guys. he was just <laughs> running down to the store for some snacks or something. He should be back any minute. Okay. Treats. Uh, can I get some, uh, can I get some water or something? Yeah. Uh, is this one yours? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's pretty cold in here. Uh, I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have the AC cranked up or something. Uh, you left the camera oh. off. Well, well, we're going to go through it a couple more times okay. anyway, but... My notifications are hooting and hollering here. So as I just remembered, uh, Joseph mentioned doing an interview with someone earlier, like a day or two ago. I also did one um, earlier today. I won't say who with. I don't know if he's keeping it a secret or not, but he is just... Just in case he is, I won't say it, but uh, one thing that I was reminded of was that the next entry, which is the first appearance of the mask, uh, was the first one that we shot after Roger Ebert gave us a big old shout out uh, on his blog. I won't give all of the details because uh, you'll have to watch the uh, have to keep an eye on my Twitter feed for whenever I share a link to the video that interview in it. Uh, but I will say he he shared like a uh, he shared like a like a whole blog page with every entry that had come out up until that point. Uh, and so this was the first one that we shot after that happened. And so I think we were. There was a little extra create. The creative energy was flowing a little faster and harder this 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 time. Uh, and when we were shooting this one, because we were going, yeah, we're gonna do this for. We're doing it for Roger. I miss Roger Ebert. So this one, Hello? I'll talk about Hoodie's mask whenever he shows up next season. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, I will say, whenever I was putting together the DVDs, um, there were not there was not that many files in the folder. Whenever I was putting everything together, uh, and uh, there, this was pretty much all there was. So I think this might have been the rare. One of the rare one-take wonders. We're close. Okay, 
Okay, I've said this on Twitter once or twice before, but it keeps popping up in the chat whenever I look over there, so I'm just going to see it now. Uh, Alex? Well, actually, I'll say it after the scene, because this is Alex. really good. Did not have the tan jacket yet. If you if you, uh, if you were to rewind that scene, I've got... I think that's Troy's jacket. It was a black jacket. And then I, I think with this, you know, because with something like this, it's sort of like you, you, you plant the little seeds of ideas just by looking for, you know, like sort of a practical story uh, purpose in the moment. And then you go back and revisit them later and flesh them out. And I think in this particular instance, um, one of the reasons that we decided for Tim to have a seizure here was uh, just because, you know, it was it was a good way for Jay to be able to get away. <laughs> because we're you know it's it's not like we've seen what he looks like. It's it's not like no one's going to assume he's he, he could, he's he's a he's a brawler or anything. Uh, maybe he could handle himself in a fist fight. I don't know. We never well. I guess we sort of see that later, but, uh, um, yeah, so it was just sort of like, okay, so they're tangled up in this scuffle, so how do they get away? Uh, how do, how do we, how do we break them apart from this situation, give them enough time to escape? So I guess that we came up, we came up with that for that particular scene, and then as things went on, you know, we, we were able to make that a central part of his character because, you know, a, a, a seizure is not just something you casually have, just like, oops, I had one seizure, uh, but I'm fine now. Never had one again. You know, it's like there's there's more going on if you're if if that is happening to you. So you you don't you don't just want to leave that there. You want to explore that a little more. Um, OK, so, yeah, what I was going to say earlier was. uh People getting mad at other people making cheesecake references. That was one person in like 2011 messaged me directly just being like something about, are you fat because you ate cheesecake? And I got like somewhat annoyed at that person in particular. And somehow that blossomed into uh, that cheesecake started as a fat joke. Uh, at Tim and he's very upset about it so don't say it around him that's not true I don't care. <laughs> I don't care I think what it originally came from was there was uh, a friend of ours uh, who's actually the one who later on would make the uh, DVD the season one DVD cover made a cool video called um cooking with to the arc and it was like a parody of a to the arc video but it was uh if you watched it closely you eventually figured out it was a recipe for uh key lime pie but done in the style of a to the arc video and then somehow key lime pie evolved into cheesecake over time on one of like the really really early i think it was like one of the facebook pages or something that somebody made um my bass guitar which i still have and i still play rocksmith streams with uh, you should check one of those out sometimes. That close up there might be one of my favorite shots in the whole thing. So that was my apartment. Uh, you'll never believe what the rent was for that place. It was a one bedroom one bathroom it was like a concrete bunker it was all cinder blocks and painted it had a, a window unit and like the heater was one of those heating strips that ran along the floor and it was 275 a month and later she had to sadly had to raise the rent to 300 a month later on but uh man I wish that was my rent now.
He said he was making a video, but it's just... Oh, no, never mind. There it is. I guess this is probably more visually interesting. See, here, here's the hand move. There we go. Zooming a little slower, but there's the twist. Twist back. Put it in the palm. And if this was a quicker video, he would have pulled it away by now, but he's got to show it's inside. I'm not sure what the blue light was all about, because uh, that camera did have night vision, because I know we used it a few times, quite a few times. Didn't look too bad, either, from what I remember. Why are you wearing a jacket? Because I like it. Because I look cool in it. That may have been the same jacket that I was wearing in Entry 18. But yeah, just like I said earlier on Twitter, if 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 we're watching this together right now, then we're buds now. That's how it is. Do I still need this lamp? Yeah, it's too dark without it. I don't know when they sat out and made those, but uh, I know for towards the end there was an entry where there were a lot of those paper all those, all papers on the floor. We sat out for a good hour or two just making those drawings. We have been buds for eight plus years, Robin. I still have the Brian shirt. Oh, snap. John, yes, of course we're buds. We're all buds here. I'd call more people out by name, but it's much easier if you have your real name and your username. <laughs> Mr. James Coppin, yes, we're buds, of course. We're all buds. Yes, so the Brian shirt is... Um, so there is a website called idakus.com. I-D-A-K-O-O-S.com. I don't know if it still exists, but uh, at the time, it was, uh, it was like you could order T-shirts from it, but it was like they were print-on-demand shirts, but it's like they just imported like an entire online thesaurus or something. So there were just thousands right. of different words you could uh, choose from, we'll um, but one right of them was here. just like yeah, all of the, everyone's the, name, kind of like the, every name that you could think of, uh, that looks and of course one of the ones they had was mean? Brian, uh, and so uh, a few of a few people I know got um, Brian related shirts from there back yeah, in like 2012 or so, and and yes, at a convention Robin gave me. Brian is um, somewhere. I don't her know shirt I with a frowny face, face on it that says, <laughs> "Without um, Brian, there is no happiness." Uh, we've been doing some which uh, for, I think we can all agree with that. Hell, if I can find it, I'll wear it for tomorrow's stream. How about we'll we'll make it official? I'm very proud of him. Uh, we're just waiting on Tim to get here. Go give him the new script. Maybe run over some lines. This new script. Oh no! That's a whole lot of power to get someone like him. Yeah. Uh, you know. Pretty much everyone's at risk. It's a terrifying place. And there's Tom, so. Come on in! The script is so powerfully bad it makes the camera itself scream. My god. Drive alright? No, yeah, it's okay. Sorry I'm late. No problem? No. Uh, Jesus. Why is it so cold and juicy? Let's uh, go ahead and start over from. Uh, I'm tired of this. Oh yeah, I did notice the Tim Sutton yeah, cult yeah. on Twitter one time. I'm really tired of this. I'm really I think I muted now. some of them because they were giving me the creeps. Uh, take five, I guess. Take five. Yeah. Everything highlighted for him. He's... I think so. I think I got it all. Wow. Is it okay? 
sure they'll come if you were sick. I know. <coughs> you alright, Tim? Need anything? No, I'm okay. What's that? Just some medicine I have to take. Uh, do you need to go home? Should we come? No, I'm fine. <laughs> no! I do not want to cough in the in the stream. I feel like that would be a bad omen, given the circumstances. Uh, yeah. If Alex had finished Marble Hornets, what would he have made next? Do you think? <laughs> Don't ever dream. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the total runtime of the web series is, uh, I want to say nine and a half hours, uh, most of which is season three, which is why it's being split up into multiple parts. Uh, season one's an hour and a half. Season two is two and a half. Season three is five and a half. And I can, uh, I was going to, uh, I don't know if I'll just split season three in half. Because I'm not sure how long each half is. But, you know, I can... I'm, I'm cool with sitting here for like an hour and a half, two hours. Two and a half even for season two. Three is kind of pushing it. I feel like we should split it up into two parts. At least two parts. Possibly three. We'll see. We'll see. I am playing the DVD versions of these, so uh, at the very least, since the season three is uh, two DVDs, it'll at least be split down, uh, split in half that way. As far as I know, this uh, tower is still here. I haven't been here in years. I think the last time I went was 2015. Because we were in the area and we wanted to just kind of walk around, take a look at the old spots. Oh yeah, I think we were poking around here before Clear Lake started, I think. Just to get some inspiration, but we we won't talk about that. <laughs> If you go here now, there is a decent amount of, like, uh, little graffitis in here. Or, like, not graffitis, but, you know, just little operate, uh, operator symbols and stuff. So that's, that's kind of cute. I don't even, I don't even know what this is for, like... My first thought was maybe like a climbing wall, but there's no like hand hand grip grips on it. So You know something? Based on the breathing, uh, I know Troy wasn't wild about heights. So this might actually be Joseph behind the camera doing this part. It kind of sounds like Joseph breathing, but I can't tell. Doesn't it? It is Joseph. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
I even, I didn't even know that. I just guessed. I just had a hunch. It was a good hunch, I guess. No, I don't have the mask. I never held on to the mask to begin with. That was not mine. Only my my clothing. My wardrobe. Oh, I was gonna wear flannel for this. I can't believe I forgot. Oh well. Tomorrow's Brian shirt day. <coughs> Thursday's flannel day. If I remember. It's a little hot for flannel in my apartment right now because my uh, AC doesn't work. It's a good time for the AC to not work. Yeah, I auctioned off pretty pretty much all of the clothes that I had on eBay just because, you know, A, I figured, you know, it was just kind of taking up space in the back of a drawer, and I figured it would be someone else would appreciate having it in their house more than I would, and then also, you know, could use some extra ex extra money. <laughs> Yes, including the tie dye, I auctioned that one off. Unfortunately, the uh, ch the the tie dye chimp shirt. Uh, so I mailed that off. I was going to meet the person who bought it at a convention a couple of weeks ago, and they were going to have me sign it in person and get a p f picture and everything. Uh, but then all of the conventions got canceled. Just all of them, everywhere. Hey, what do you know? They're here right now. Sorry we couldn't make it happen. Someday. Someday we will. It's Jill, right? Am I right? Do I remember that? Yeah? Yeah. Someday, next time. Seth, uh, I only ever met Seth whenever we did these, so I only ever met him the two times. We are friends on Facebook. Let's see where he is. What is Seth up to? Oh, it's a good, good, good time to do this because it 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 accidentally paused again. Uh. Perfect time to see. All right. Ooh. Well, it says he lives in New York City right now, so solidarity with Seth, I guess. Hey. Graphic designer slash production in New York City. Good for him. Back upstairs. Man. Oh man, and I thought my profile picture was cool. How am I gonna top that? Will it show it on there? Ah, oh, it's too bright. Uh well, it's it's like mine but cooler. My backlight is too bright. There we go. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, I think he was a DJ too at some point. Maybe he still is.
so this is actually this is actually part of the abandoned hospital this is a little building sort of behind it uh, there were a whole bunch of there 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 are a whole bunch of different buildings in that sort of complex and it's like every time we went we would find a different one but I don't think we ever used this one again um, but yeah so this was I think part of this entry might have been in the basement floor of that abandoned hospital from like that we went back to in season three um, and then this was in like a little building behind it this is where like all of the boilers and things were we could not go to the actual basement uh, of that building because it was completely flooded up to like waist height and uh, we're not quite that brave that blood stain might still be there I know some of the writing on the walls from season 3 still is The hospital was also kind of in the Tuscaloosa area. It was a little ways outside of town. It was kind of outside of town. It was kind of one of those... It was kind of famous among the students for being sort of like a, a spooky haunted place. You take the freshmen at night to spook them. But uh, for us, we kind of got used to it. Yeah, this is still Death Stranding, by the way. Seth. I'm not even going to change it. He's gone. Mm-mm. I don't remember what happened. We were the only two left. And I left him. Brian is gone. And Tim. And Jay. And Sarah. Everyone. Is gone. I just woke up in this house with the tape. See, Joseph hates this Since monologue, but I think he just did a, 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 a perfectly fine job. It's right here. All I can remember at all is on the tape now. I'm leaving this house. I thought I would be safer here by running away, but everything's just gotten worse. I'm going back to my home, and I'm burning these tapes. No, uh. -huh. Not sure what these clips are from. I wonder if we still have them. So Troy was using the editing software he was using was called Sony Movie Studio Platinum. Which was like, it's not even Sony Vegas, it's like the very, it's like the really basic, like, consumer version of Sony Vegas. So, um, like, I, I still don't know how he did some of this, some of this stuff, because that is absolutely not, uh, that, the, the, that, that software in particular was not designed to be able to do anything like that. I know he said he did some of the audio distortion just by messing with the filters in there, and then later on we got more a little more elaborate because I uh, 
I um um I I I figured out some ways to do like electronic sort of noise sound effects by um uh, if you've ever heard of something called circuit sniffing, um, that would actually be a pretty cool post uh, stream video to do. I could stream for you guys as a YouTube video on circuit sniffing, um, but that's that's how I did. That's how I got some of those. And then the synthesizer that I built inside the Devo Energy Dome uh, hat that I bought was another one. But those came later. Those haven't been used yet. But I will definitely, I will definitely point out when they got used because uh, I'm still pretty proud of how some of those sound. So I, I was definitely here for this one. This was another all day one. And I think we were... Yes, I do still have the energy dome, by the way. Because um, this one was, you know... This one, we couldn't quite be spontaneous with this. You know, we kind of it kind of had to be mapped out. You know, there's like a kind of had to plan a, the route in advance. It's like, okay, it's going to cut to this room. It's going to cut to this room. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was, I know I was, uh, I was here because I was the one, like, shutting the doors behind him. I don't remember that. Oh, wait, that's on the whiteboard, isn't it? Yeah, this may be one of my favorite ones now, looking back on it. And I think the reason that it works as well as it does is because the actual, like, teleporting part, like, it doesn't, it doesn't call attention to itself. Like, there's no, there's no whoosh sound effects or anything. It's like one minute he's in one room and another he's in the wrong place. I admire the our the the restraint it took to not be a little less subtle with it. The doll is there because we found it and it looks like the operator. <laughs> and that's why we use it. As for story reasons, that's up for you to decide. Probably found it at the same store they found the mask, honestly. Michael's, I think. Yeah. So now we're back in the abandoned hospital boiler room from earlier, I think. Or no, this may have been that bottom floor because of all the, the dripping water. I think it had rained recently. I wasn't there for this part, but I think they said this was the one where they kept getting creeped out because it sounded like people were walking around upstairs when it was really just the uh, water droplets. The pills were whatever we had. Vitamins, I think. I think at one later on, it was uh, some kind of herbal supplement that we bought online. You know, just some, some, some supplement or other. But just because it came in those really big capsules, 
So we wanted something that was big enough that it would show up on camera if you were like holding one in your hand. Um, but I don't. I think that was later. I think those were probably just ibuprofen or something, if I had to guess. I think one time they were, um, what was it called? Paracetam, paracetam. It was whenever um, the whole nootropics thing was first kind of ha happening on the internet, if you all were, if any of you were familiar with those. They were supposed to, it was, it was, it was not paracetamol, it was, it was spelled like P-I-R-A-C-E-T-A-M. And it was supposed to be like, you know, it was one of those things where like college students were buying it because it was supposed to help you on exams or st and stuff when they couldn't get Adderall, I guess. <laughs> and I think you had to take like 10 of them or something for them to even do anything. And even then they didn't really do anything because all that nootropic stuff is fake, but you know, it was still new. It absolutely should have been Flintstone pills, but yes, you're right. It was it was Gorilla Mindset pills. <laughs> it was Brain Force Plus. We've got some fish oil at home. Does it do anything? You have other cameras? Why haven't we seen them? I know what paracetamol is. That's not what I'm talking about, man. Fella. Buddy. Pal. Stay home, everybody. To the Ark said, stay home. I don't think that was me in the mask there. Because, again, most of the To the Ark videos, especially the early ones, were uh, just Troy by himself. I think I might have messed up the graphics for that countdown for the DVD version a little bit. I don't think they're supposed to overlap like that. Whoops. Would you have noticed if I hadn't said anything? You won't tell anybody, right? I won't say if you won't. Wow! So that's my apartment, that's my living room. For the, from the apartment from Entry 19. But this was so long ago, I still had a CRT TV. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. Wow. It's the little details. Like, most of this still feels like it was yesterday. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago. And then there will be little details. Like, oh, he's got a CRT TV. I do still have that dresser. I think it was just the weather channel on TV, but I'm not sure if this is audio from the weather channel or if this is something else. Oh no, that's like traffic cameras.
Oof. That's embarrassing. That apartment didn't have a dishwasher. What do you want from me? <laughs> Gotta say, probably not the worst place to live whenever the uh, tornado came through. Yeah, in 2011, there was a huge tornado that came through town. Uh, it passed by us, um, but it came awfully close. We will wait for you no more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is my voice, uh, and it sounds like that because uh, Troy also had like an like a like a gas mask, like a full over-the-head rubber gas mask that I was talking through. So that's uh, that's why it was sounding like that. But yeah, that was my voice while I was doing that. I was talking through the uh, through the gas mask there. People didn't vape yet back then. But I would have. I think this was just some news footage that he found. But if you hear, if you if you notice it. The, the audio glitches out whenever she's saying, like, the the name of the town. So that's, that's, that's why it's doing, that's why it's doing that. But I don't, yeah, I don't know where this came from exactly. I don't think it was local news. I think it was just... This was literally found footage, except it was found by us, I guess. Found by Troy, I guess. Oh, Rand Althor has found the actual news footage used. Do you remember where it was? Also, how on earth did you find that? Good on you, but that's that's some quality detective work. It's actually two different source news footage. One very important, uh, I guess, graphic design uh, thing that I think Troy learned in between right, the introduction video and this one past week is putting a light a black outline better. around your text whenever you're doing that because the introduction better, doesn't have that. I almost fixed that for the DVD, but I didn't. Time, like it used to be. I feel like it should stay as it was. That this is for the best. So this is going to be the last entry that I'll be posting. Yeah? I think this was originally going to be... We weren't sure if it was going to be the end, but uh, it was written in such a way that it could be, should it not work out in the future. Oh man, if only we'd watched this three days ago, we would be exactly ten years out. Well, the date of the entry would have been the 18th, so... Sorry. We gotta pause for another couple of weeks to watch the rest of this. It's 
the way it's got to be. That's what we should do the rest of these for season two on, is just watch an entry on the 10th anniversary or whenever it was posted. Just drag this out for another four more years. I say. What if he just didn't watch it? It's like, nah. Or what would have been more likely to happen is I tried to watch this tape, but my camera ate it. I don't know if any of you all ever used mini DV cameras, but they were awful. Three days ago. So she is only in this up entry so because... I think she moved to like Minnesota right after they filmed this, so. Wait, what happened? When did we get a camera? Whoops. Alex, come on. We don't have a camera. Yes, we do. Where did you find that? It was in the closet. There's a tape already in it, but when I tried to watch it, it was messed up or something. I don't you tried know. to what? Um, that's probably just my old camera from college. I probably stuck it back in there when we moved. Uh, just gonna sell it. Joseph should grow his hair out like that again. What? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna sell it. Just please put it back. Stop recording. Fine, I'm not recording anymore. You can still see the light. Are you okay, Alex? I'm fine. Just put it back, please. You're in a really odd mood right now. Fine. Uh. That that's one of the best shots from the show, I think. Still, so, en entry seventy two is still my favorite overall, but uh, that one certainly hits, don't it? <laughs> it's good. It's good, folks. About seven months, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because I remember very early on, he would uh, try to reply to YouTube private messages in character. But, uh... Does, does does YouTube even still do private messages? I've never actually checked mine. Probably don't want to, do I? No, they do not, according to the chat. So there we go. Kirill was the guy who originally, he linked up with them uh, to try and, uh, he was the one that tried to get the movie stuff off the ground, but he was also, uh, ran the original merch store. Uh, if you remember the original merch store, yeah. Yeah. And that's it, folks. That is season one. Thank you all for joining me. Um, 
if you would like to um, stick around for an extra hot little minute, would you guys want me to show you guys the um, the video on circuit sniffing I was telling you guys about? It would be a, an impromptu, a bonus feature, except a bonus feature that is not made by me. It was made by, what was his name? Nick Collins, I believe is his name. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to stick around for that, it's just a couple minutes long. It might be some interesting, uh, cool uh, behind-the-scenes info for you guys. Um, and if not, um, thank you for joining me, and I will see you all tomorrow. So yeah, um, actually, I'm probably <laughs> I am probably going to uh, mess this up because I remember how back in the day you could do window capture for and like draw the window area on the screen for OBS and I couldn't figure out how to do that on the newest one on the newest version can you still do that hack of the month club number one there it is Yeah, 2010. So they took that feature out, huh? So if I wanted to... Oh, my mic stand is running away on me. Um, so bear with me for a second. I'm going to attempt to do this. It's probably going to look bad. I apologize. Let's see if I can get this working. The... Um, Oh yeah, I'll talk about that too, actually, after this. The uh, people asking about the camera, the specific model of camera that we use was called the um, Sony um, HDR SR5. It was like a, it was just one of their handy cams. I think it came out in 2007. Um, so let's see, color source. Display capture, create new, there. So, so does it, is there any way to not just do my entire window? Can I not do that? I would like to not do that. You used to be able to not do that. Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Scale filtering, window projector. I don't think it's going to let me do that, is it? You hold control and drag the edges. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so I've got the properties. Folks. You're here for uh, uh, Tim Sutton's Tech Problems 101. Wait, am I doing it now? Is that it? No? Oh, no, that's something else. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, honestly, I might have to save that for another time because I don't know how to do that. Uh, yeah, I used to because I, I was just going to put the, the YouTube window in there. Um, add the search window as a source. Okay, let's try that. Uh, I'm going to remove that. And then we are going to add... A game capture of specific window. Haha. <laughs> Will it let me choose the window? No. Hmm. 
This might be a bust, ladies and gentlemen. May just have to do this another day. Display capture. That? No. Not what I want. Um, so... Um, yeah, I, I, I did window... Hold on. Yes, I want to remove it. Do 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 do. Oh, when <laughs> there it is. Thank you. All right. We did it. That is good enough for me. I'll just shrink it a little. Yeah. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. All right. Good enough. So, if you are at all interested for behind-the-scenes things of how some of the electronic um, sound effects in Marble Hornets were done, especially in Season 3, it was done like this. And we're going to watch Mr. Collins together. I used to have one of those, but I don't know what happened to it. Mm. Yeah, it would be good if I actually uh, had the sound running, wouldn't I? Wouldn't it? Do do do. One moment, please. It picks up the sound of electromagnetic vibrations rather than sound vibrations. In order to listen to it, we need a small amplifier like this. We plug it in. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You know what? Uh, let's do this another time. <laughs> uh, uh, goodness gracious. I was so close. Audio output capture, yeah. Do the output, please. Oh, it was working. It was working. Okay, it wasn't showing the levels on mine. Okay, if you're saying it's working, then it's working. It will do that. This is an inductive pickup, sometimes called a telephone tap. There we go. Or a coil pickup. It picks up the sound of electromagnetic vibrations rather than sound vibrations. In order to listen to it, we need a small amplifier like this. We plug it in and tapping it or talking around it produces no sound. If, on the other hand, we move in something that generates a big electromagnetic field, like a wart, you can hear the sound of the 60 cycles that our electrical board runs at when you move this around. Interesting for some composers, maybe not for others. So, what else can we listen to? Here we have a fan. Put this on the back of the fan, turn on the fan. So I think if you want one of these... We're hearing the motor, the coil of the motor. And as we slow down the fan, it changes the pitch. Hey, right. don't blame me. It says my audio Cell levels are still pretty low. This is a familiar enough sound to anyone who's tried to make a quiet video recording. The tick tick is the sound of the cell phone trying to reach the tower and find out if anything's happening. If we dial a number, there it is. It's saying, listen to me, listen to me. So I believe if you want to find one of these, you have to Google, I think the exact thing you have to Google is telephone recorder. And it'll look, it, you just have to find one that looks like one of those. I think they're only a couple dollars.
One great source of unusual sounds is a computer, and you can do a lot of great computer music. That's one of the one things that I used was inside a desktop computer, you can just stick it around, to different places inside. Like stethoscope, you can listen to the electronic activity of different parts of your computer. The battery, the trackpad, different parts of the memory, the clock, display driving circuitry, power adapter. It's like being a digital doctor. <laughs> but one of the greatest sounds in the world to listen to with this is the old fashioned CD player. So here, put it on top. Yeah, there was like Press a summer play. class at my university that was only like three or four weeks long uh, on electronic music, and I took it just for fun. And uh, moved to different areas. that's how we learned about all this all kind of stuff. Servos that are driving the motor, the sled, the focusing of the laser, the display. What's nice is. Shaking it causes the thing to go into a panic And then, of course, the last thing that you can do with it is feedback. A lovely little falsetto mini theremin. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, you're scaring it. A guitar pickup is basically an expensive version of one of these coils. And it can be used oh, in very yeah. similar ways. It will pick up the sound of a power supply. You can listen to the fan. Of course, then you can also... And perhaps most beautifully. Beautiful. I love it. So one thing you can do with this, I know that I did, was um, if you hold it underneath the CD drive, if you have like a desktop PC and it's got a disk drive, if you hit the eject button before it ejects, all of the motors spin up and it just makes this horrific screeching sound. Uh, that was one of the ones that, that was one of my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, that was how to get some type of, some of the um, electronic noises from Marble Hornets, or Marble Hornets-esque that you can get. Um, something else I wanted to mention, too, uh, another little... Uh, if you're into, like, the technical stuff... Um, so, I was looking up the specs of the um, camera that we used. It was the Like I said, it was the Sony HDR SR5, and I found a review of it from 2007... And um, this this pass this part of the review in particular was what stood out to me because I thought, oh yeah, that that's affected us like in a good way. So these were all mentioned as negatives in the review. It says the steady shot image stabilization works well throughout the zoom range and doesn't seem to mess with panning and the auto exposure adjust uh, adjust accurately and quickly to changes in scene illumination. However, the autofocus, seems quite sluggish compared to that of other Sony models I've used, frequently taking several seconds to lock onto a new subject, even in good light. So, uh, you know, that is, if you've ever noticed that, uh, you know, there's some, there's some, uh, sometimes the autofocus can be a little slow and the, and the, the picture can be a little blurry. But the thing that really stood out to me was this. It says... Speaking of light, the automatic white balance renders overly cool colors under a variety of light sources. 
That, combined with a propensity for seriously blown-out highlights, results in some very washed-out-looking video. Nor is the video sufficiently sharp, thanks to the rel relatively low-resolution sensor. Da-da-da-da-da, uh, about video resolution. Um, I also wish Sony would punt the 5.1 surround sound microphone instead and give it a replace it with a good directional microphone. So... Um, that sort of washed-out look with the muted colors that Marble Hornets has uh, is because of that specific camera that that we used. Because, um, I, I mean, obviously there was lots of... Um, uh, there was lots of... Um, uh, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. There's lots, lots of different like you know video stuff, but I don't know how much just straight up color correction there was. So, the 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 the, the video itself, the, the sort of the reason it looks that way, it would have looked different if we'd had a different camera. And then, um, for the sound effects, a lot of the times what we did, um, because it had that surround sound microphone built into it instead of a directional one we a lot of times what we would do is we would record the sound effects with the camera um so that it wouldn't sound like they were put in afterwards like they were uh um like they that like they you know they they sounded like they were recorded with the camera and then also if we knew where it was going to happen we could also record it sort of in relation to where the camera was. So we, we were able to use that as well too. So um, lots of the little technical things uh, end up being um, happy accidents or, you know, limitations that you can use to your advantage. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, post tangent at the end. Uh, I always really like the, uh, the circuit sniffing uh, video. I like showing, showing, sharing that with, new people. Um, but thank you all for joining me. There was quite a few people here. Um, the GoPro is next season, so we can talk about that a little bit, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and I hope you all will join me, uh, tomorrow evening at the same time at seven, we're going to be starting, um, uh, we're going to be starting season two, but earlier in the day at 2 p.m., uh, I'm going to be continuing streaming uh, Death Stranding, Hideo Kojima's newest uh, masterpiece. <laughs> uh, which, if you, if you were there yesterday, it was a good bit of fun. So we're going to do that one again tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then a few hours later, we're going to be bop back on in here for Season 2. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>